Welcome, my name is Josh, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the 3D view that is available in Hips and Sips, Base Editor, and Base Manager. To demonstrate this today, I'm going to use Base Manager. To begin, we first need to open up the 3D view. The 3D view can be opened up in two ways, by either selecting the 3D icon up at the top, or by going over to View, 3D View. Once you have the 3D view open, you then need to select which layer you'd like to open in your Layers tab. For this demonstration, I will open the Depth layer. Once the Depth layer is open, I can then double-click on the surface to zoom in. I can also hold down the middle mouse button to actually move around the map and view in all different directions. Wherever I mouse click, the 3D display will center on that location. I can also use the scroll button, the middle mouse button, to zoom in and out at a certain location as well. I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard to look up, look down, look left, and look right. If I hold the control button while pushing the up and down arrow, I will zoom in and I will zoom out. I also have a control stick in the bottom right of the display window. By using this, I can move forward and I can move backward. And I can look around to the left and look around to the right. Below it is a pan up and pan down. And to the right of that, I can move up in height or down in We can use this to easily fly through this bay. You can also see that we have some extra features here. On the right, I have a color legend. I can turn this color legend on and off by selecting the icon in the top right of the display. I can also turn the control stick that I was using a second ago right next to it. Over on the left of the top of the display, I have the ability to change where the sun is shining. This will allow me to hide certain features and to cast shadows in different directions. Next to that, I have the ability to change the vertical exaggeration. I can move it up or I can make it flat. Next to that, I have the ability to create 3D fly-throughs of the area that I'm looking at. To do this, all we have to do is select the record button. So to begin, I'm going to move back to the beginning of this embayment and I'm going to create a fly-through for you. By selecting the record button, I can then use this joystick to properly travel through this embayment. Once I have the 3D fly-through created, I can then go up to View, 3D Flight Path, and either save the XML file of the flight path, and I can export the video. Or I can select Play, which will play through the video that I just recorded. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful.